What's good guys, we're back with another video, you feel me? And today we're about to install the NSX exhaust, so we're gonna be showing you guys hella clips and hella videos of the exhaust before and after, and we're gonna show you the install process, but hope you guys enjoy the video, and after that, we'll see what's going on from there. All right, this is what you guys been looking at, waiting for, the NSX. I'm gonna show you the exhaust next, but I'm gonna give you a little look around with the car. Beautiful, nice car. Basically, the exhaust we're running is the fab speed. Um, it's basically a muffler delete because you know it's just straight pipes from the resonators now. So, has the NSX logo right here. Here's the brand. But we're gonna be installing the jack, the quick jack stand on this, and I'll show you guys what's after that. Honestly, the exhaust, the new exhaust, is pretty light. It would be a big, big improvement from the stock exhaust. But we're gonna start taking the car apart. We have to go under here and take out all the panels and stuff like that you can't see it right now but i'll go down there once the car is raised all right so this is the clip of the exhaust stock exhaust Drive-bys. So that was a stock exhaust, drive-bys, and revs. So we're gonna start working on the car. We're gonna jack it up now. And then we're gonna be having the exhaust installed and then we're going to show you more clips from there so right now we're about to set up the quick jacks right now but the car is too low so i use wooden planks and so this is trying to help us raise up the car a bit we're gonna put spacers on it just to raise it because the car's too low So first we have to take off the rims and then the whole rear bumper is kind of stupid but this whole process of doing it and under here you see the, the exhaust piping and then down here you see all the panels these right here the clips you gotta take out all the clips before you do the exhaust because obviously it's under or inside of here a little scraper here don't matter but everything else you gotta take out all this all this and then after that we'll show you the inside of the exhaust we put these little guides in so the wheel won't fall off or anything like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Big old rims, 20s. Here are the rotors and brakes. These are stock Brembo's, right? Those slotted rims. Um.
Next, we'll be taking off the inner fender lining on both sides. So we're gonna do a little more touch of that. And we'll get back to you to the next step. So on this side, my diver took it out, but the whole inner fender lining is all out. And right here, that's the muffler of the exhaust. It's pretty fat, pretty big, but then here's the suspension, all the inside work, hello wiring. But these are Brembo brakes, I just found out. See the Brembo? Pretty big rotors and brakes. But now, our next is to take off the rear bumper, I believe, or the bottom, the diffuser. But we're gonna be having some issues, but we'll see what happens next. So we just found out that the diffuser is gonna be removed with the bumper. So it's all, it's all gonna be one piece. So we're gonna be doing that next. All right guys, so I'm going to the little stash we have back here to get some cleaner for my dad. I don't know what it is, but he's trying to clean something from the internals from his car. So, here's my baby, you feel me? Look her lay down in that Shinigami stance. Shout out to Sam again for the bags. But there's a lot of more things coming this far. I'm gonna get a bumper, it's a surprise, but stay tuned for it. It's gonna be pretty dope. Um, I just got S Sport badges for this car. It makes it look way better. Let me know what you guys want for this car and then just drop it down in the comments section below. All right guys, so right now we're just masking the edges of the car right here. Just so when we pull off the bumper, we don't risk any paint cracking or anything like that. So we're just gonna mask the whole edge. And after that, we're gonna pull off the rear bumper. So this now we're just spraying the, the tape the to, re to reduce any type of scratching or paint cracking. Basically to loosen up the rear bumper. All right guys, so I don't know what happened to the clip, but we basically removed the whole bumper. Um, I'll move the bumper over to the grass so we don't do anything wrong with the bumper. So we're gonna move over here. Let's drop it on the grass. All the rocks in there. But I'm gonna show you the rear bumper, a rear end of the car without the bumper. So now, now that we have the whole rear bumper off, we're gonna start taking all the exhaust, basically all bolt-ons. Yeah, we have to take this out. Or we're gonna take the crash bar out, the bash bar out next. And then now we're gonna, and after that, we're gonna take out the bumper or take out the exhaust. Basically all full bolt-on, basically. So it's gonna be pretty simple to install it. But as you see, that's the mufflers. Pretty big, like I said before, but after that, we're gonna get back to you once we take off the bash bar. <laughs> All right, so now we pull out the rear bash bar. We're basically just trying to figure out what to do now. I'm pretty sure it's just those bolts, as you see the four corners. Um, about to that, we have a spray with WD-40 to loosen up the bolts. Not WD. As you see, we took out the rear bash bar now. We're just trying to figure out how to actually take off the exhaust. There's hella wiring, so we don't want to cut anything or mess anything up. But we're trying to find some type of spray. We don't know what it is, but we're trying. Look, we're about, I'm about to go to Lowe's, pick up the spray. Yeah, so we just got back from the Lowe's. This is what we picked up. Because the for these screws right here. We got to let it penetrate for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes before we unscrew it. We just do that so the screws don't strip or anything like that. All right, guys. So now we're going to take out the exhaust valve wires. And we're going to zip tie to one of these wires. So make sure to do that or... If you own an SX, make sure to do that because you don't want to risk of losing any wiring or forget forget about it. So it's a safe way just to zip tie it and then hook it off to somewhere. All right, guys. Now we're just gonna rev it just for fun without any muffler or anything. See how it sounds. gonna install the axle back to the car now so we're gonna show you guys the whole process of that 
All right, guys. Now we have the exhaust on, but we're gonna put we're gonna try to put the car back together first before we show you any more exhaust clips. So just stay tuned for it. Um, let us know what else you want us to do to the NSX. We'll take anything to consideration and see if we, we want to do it. All right, let go. <laughs> Thank you. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. Basically, the exhaust right there sounds great. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and drop down what you want to see next.